Hey, welcome back. We're going to make a couple of more house calls this evening with the medical team. Right now we're walking back into the village with the head man. He knows of a couple of folks that are needing some medical attention, so we're going to try to help them out. As we're arriving at the home, the head man informs us that we're going to be visiting with the eldest woman in the village. <laughs> Come here, come with me. Come here, well, it turns out that the eldest woman in the village is hard of hearing and suffers from some lower back pain. The doctors were able to give her some medication for her back, and we prayed for her as we were leaving. <laughs> The next young woman we're about to see is suffering from a really bad wound on her chest. We're already fearing that this may be breast cancer, based on the reports we've received. As the team arrived, no one was there, only the woman sitting alone by herself in the yard. Baby, the rest going to come up there. Our worst fears are realized. This young woman is only 40 years old. What's wrong? She had breast cancer, mm. and now it's infected because it's, cause when you breast, some breast cancers, it'll just be, be like that, and then, so now it's, it smells like Mercer. 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 She's in so much pain. She asked one of the nurses if they could just help her to get some rest tonight. We prayed with the young woman, but unfortunately all we could do at this time was offer some comfort care. As we're getting ready to leave, a young baby comes walking down the path. The head man informs us that this is her child. Being that she's unable to care for the child, it's being raised by her mother, who is also HIV positive. It's been a very heavy evening. The reality of the isolation in these villages has become very evident to the team. We're gonna head back and get some rest 
to prepare for another busy day at the clinic tomorrow. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching.